our side stretch that we're going to do side stretch is such a valuable and and i feel sometimes very overlooked um, stretch and whether it can feel very uncomfortable for some or they just don't feel like maybe they are doing it right or um, like they need more support which I can understand all the above yet side stretching because when we're in a sitting position for long periods of time when we sit compression is going to happen like I said we get ourselves into these weird when we're working we're getting into these weird kind of postures and um, and so that's just it's it is it's kind of compressing compressing through the spine but it's also compressing through our ribs our ribs in order to expand our breathing in order to breathe properly quote unquote um our lungs need space our lungs are supposed to be moving with each and every inhale and exhale and when they don't they literally like other parts of our body the um intercostal muscles so the muscles if this was your ribs the intercostal muscles that are connected in between the ribs kind of pull the ribs in and and literally can sometimes to the point get so tight that they're actually pulling vertebrae out through the back in the spine or the actual ribs themselves are going slightly off and they're they're not situating themselves in a way creating and it does create and can create quite a bit of uncomfortable sensations so the intercostal muscles should be moving every time we inhale and exhale and when that's not occurring it is it it affects a lot around it affects a lot of the muscles and a lot of the um, bone structure in our body. So side bends will help to counteract that and they will help to balance that component out. So this is a really important one and I want to, as, as an instructor and as again an empowerment coach, okay, I want to connect you. I want to allow you to feel your physical body and never go in beyond what it's telling you, what it's asking and requiring you to do. So what shape my body takes, what shape your body takes, it's going to be two unique and very different things. So when we come into side bending, that's 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 just going to be a component of it as well. So again, just using the chair, using the environment that we have. If we're if we're working on a or working at a desk, or we're driving, or um, like I said, working in a in a in an equipment heavy equipment operator. You just want to try to find a side bend, any kind of position where you can you can modify. You don't have to have the arms straight up. You can have the elbow bent. But as you come into your side bend, you want to really allow, once again, the elongating of the spine helps to keep everything nice and structured so you're not collapsing and creating more tension or tightness. You're elongating, which is already creating a lot of openness. And then you're just simply allowing the weight of that arm to come up and over and you can kind of come forward so you'll you'll notice that my arm looks past my tricep and I'm kind of looking up towards the ceiling notice what happens with this hand I grab a hold of the opposite leg and it just helps me to come into a little bit more of an opening through the ribs all the way around coming up into that arm it's a wonderful stretch for circulation into the arms into that area in the in the side body and again, you don't have to hold there for very long. You come out of it, you roll out the ankle. Oh my goodness, it's early, folks. You roll out the shoulder and you just kind of move the body. And we're going to do this a couple of times to each side because each and every time you come into some of these side bends holding for just a breath or two, it's fascinating how much your body lets go. It's kind of going the first time, it's going, oh, I don't know what's going on. Second time, it's like, oh, okay, we're letting go. Third, fourth, and continuous times. It, it usually does tend to let go fairly quickly once it understands it doesn't have to be in a protective stance or a protective state. So as we switch to the other side, once again, nice and tall, arm can reach up, you can bend, you know, just allow yourself to get creative in the space that you are. And then don't collapse forward. Um, when I'm telling you to kind of like lean in, it's always elongate first, so nice and tall through the spine, come into the stretch so you feel so you start to feel something and then begin to make these little micro movements. Then begin to allow yourself to feel where your body wants to go. Make sure your feet are nice and solid on the floor. Make sure your sit bones are still connected, but then you can really allow that upper body, that shape to come forward, come back, open. Okay, so again, opening my eyes up or open out or do the opposite and stretch and go into more of the back body. 
I think so many times that um, I've had students or clients say that they didn't feel comfortable doing a stretch. They knew they needed to, they knew and they could almost feel their body wanted to, and yet they prevented themselves from going into a stretch or even playing with a stretch because they felt like they didn't have the knowledge or, or, or base, knowledge base to go into a stretch like safely. Thank you.